Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday, my favorite day of the week, and I hope it is yours as well. So this past week, I went to one thrift store, and I picked up a few things. I didn't find a whole lot, but the items that I found, I think, are very unique and super exciting. So I cannot wait to share them with you. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that I found this week was a set of bowls. Um, they are restaurant wear. Sadly, they are not my beloved Syracuse China, but they are very, very close. They are by the Shenandoah Company, or Shenandoah China, I'm sorry. And they are so adorable. There are two of them, and they have this gorgeous yellow trim on them. I think they are so cool. They are the smaller size bowl. And I just thought they were super duper cute. Um, even though they are not red and white, I will probably throw these up into the mix because this is a nice little size bowl for like cottage cheese or, you know, a nice little side dish size. So I want to probably start using these right away. I bought both of them for $1.99. Oh, and here's the marking on the back in case you are interested. There you go. Now this restaurant where I have a few pieces, like a couple personal creamers and things like that. And I do like this restaurant where because it is nice and chunky feeling. It's heavy. Um, it reminds me a lot of Buffalo China in, in its weight, in weight wise, if that makes sense. Weight wise, it reminds me of Buffalo China, which is a little heavier than like my Syracuse China that I collect. So I just thought these were super adorable. I'm really digging a little bit of yellow that they have in them so I think that's super cute so loving that very very much <laughs> the next two items I picked up were sort of just because I thought they would be hand come in handy at some point down the road and they are these cute little canning jars there was two of them I bought them for 99 cents each I've already since used one of them but I just think these are super cute and adorable. I think they're for like jellies or something like that, or I don't know really what they are, but I thought this would be a really nice size to put like spices in. The ones that I use quite often that, you know, I need to measure with a measuring um, spoon. So I think I might try to start finding a couple more of these and transition my spices over in to these because I use canning jars for most of my baked goods now anyways. So maybe I should put the spices in there as well. I don't know. I love them. I think they're super adorable and they stack really nice. So that is a good thing. The next item I found was a little goodie bag and this has um, tart tins in it is what I picked it up for. But then I got it home and I realized it had some other things in it that I liked as well. Um, I, bought, I paid $2.24 for it. Let me open it up here. This is what I bought it for. These large tart tins. Like this. I don't know how many there are. There's probably at least 10 here. I've been finding quite a bit of tart tins, of course, after Christmas. I was looking high and low for them before Christmas to do like more of my tart tin ornaments. But I couldn't find any. So I have since found quite a few. So I probably have enough for what I need now. But I'm constantly looking for more. I think these would be really fun in all shapes and sizes to put in a like glass jar and to have on display in my kitchen. I think that would be a really fun way to display them. So I may do that in the meantime. But anyways, this uh, bag also had two cookie cutters, which are okay, but this one is a mitten shaped one, which I thought would be kind of fun. And then there's this little car shaped one. If I had boys, this would be really fun to ha have. So I may, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that one or not, but this last item is awesome. It is a cookie cutter with the handle and it's got the fluted edge on the inside. Oh, I love these cookie cutters. I have three or four in different sizes in this type of cookie cutter already, but I'm always, I'll pick it up every single time if I see one. So this one's a pretty new, I don't think it's really old. But I love it. So anyways, I think those are pretty cool and a pretty good find, if you ask me. Alright, so then, I'm moving through my stuff day really fast. I only have like three more things to share with you guys. It's going to be a very quick haul this week, which is probably a good thing, because I feel like my hauls have gotten 
very, very long lately. Um, this next item is something I have been looking for ever since, like, I would see them at the thrift store quite a bit. And then I realized, oh, I could use one of those in my bedroom. And I had, like, the perfect idea on what to use it for. And then, of course, I started looking for them, and I couldn't find them. It took me, like, a month, you guys, to find one. So I was super excited by the time I actually found one at the store again. And I paid $1.49 for it. And it is one of these accordion, um, I don't know, coat racks, mug racks. I'm not really sure what you call them. Some sort of rack, anyways. And it's the accordion one. This one's a rather small one, which I thought was uh, absolutely perfect for what I wanted it to be for. And then the color on it is absolutely perfect. It's got that, like, kind of worn, honey, um warm wood look and I'm loving that so I don't even need to give this guy a makeover at all which is awesome so I'm gonna hang this up in my bedroom which by the way I will be showing you guys this coming Sunday I'm gonna be doing a clean and decorate um, my master bedroom where I'm gonna add a whole bunch of my little vintage goodies that I have been collecting lately so I'm super excited about that so this will be part of the mix of that so come back on Sunday to see that video if you're interested and I'm super excited to have found this. Perfect, perfect timing. And yeah, I'm super excited about it. <laughs> so that brings me to my two favorite items that I found this week. Um, the first one being, the first one is a framed flower print. I bought it for $4.49, I think it was. And it looks rather old to me and I'm just in love. First of all, I saw the frame is what caught my eye. And then I saw the photo or the picture in it. And I'm like, oh, that's so perfect for me. And it looks like this. It's a white oval frame. And it's got this gorgeous flower print on the inside of it. And I just think it is so cool. I love it. I can't tell if it's like the original to it. It looks like somebody might have taken out the original picture in there and replaced it with this. But I loved the finish on this frame. I couldn't believe it. I, and then I've actually been looking for, you know, frames that are different shapes, like ovals and circles and that sort of thing. So this is absolutely perfect. And I love the photo in it. I think it is so pretty. Um, it does have some, looks like it might have come out of like a illustration book or something like that because it's got the little, little words on the bottom there. I'm not really sure, but it does have like the little words on the bottom there. I can't read it because <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. But I love it because it looks like uh, like a botanical print sort of situation. So I'm loving this so much. Um, I have it. I've had it hung up in my living room. You might have seen it if you watched my. So I'm going to hang this up in my living room, and I think it's going to look absolutely perfect in there. So I have had this hanging in my living room above my wood roll top desk and I absolutely love it. It's like the perfect, perfect um, spot for it. So I'm super excited about that. So this last item is actually a pair of items that I saw on the shelf and fell in love with absolutely right away. There was no doubt that I was bringing both of them home no matter how much they were. They were originally for $49 and with the discount that I had that day they ended up only being $3.74 so that's a good little deal. And oh my gosh, I am so in love with these. I think they are so cool. They combine my love of candles and my love of... Um, oil lamps together in a perfect solution, in a perfect candle holder that I think is so rustic and farmhouse looking that I'm just, I'm so in love, you guys. So let me show you what I'm talking about. There are two candle holders that look like this. To, to give you a closer look so you can see what I'm talking about, it looks like this. You've got the nice thin, um, chimney which I think are super cool. I prefer the like really small thin ones like this and then it's got this gorgeous metal finish on it. The candle holder's in the middle but then look at the back here. It's got this really cool handle detail so you could like hang it on the wall I think or you can easily carry it around with you and I just think it is the coolest thing ever. I am absolutely in love with this. 
I just think they're so cool. So I am pretty sure that I'm going to be adding these into my um, decor for my bedroom. And I'll put in some battery operated candles or taper candles. And I think they will be absolutely awesome. I am so excited. It has been so hard for me, guys, not to get these, like, take the tape off and start using these, like, right away. So I had to get this video filmed so that I can start using these. I have been waiting impatiently for about three days now. And I can't wait any longer. So <laughs> I am just so in love with these. I think they are the coolest thing ever. So farmhouse looking, so cottagey. And the finish is absolutely perfect for me. I love this, you know, this like black iron kind of roughed up finish. It's just my favorite. It's just my favorite. So I'm loving that because I think it just pops against all the white that I have in my house and really makes things stand out. So oh, I just love it so much. So that is what I found this week at the thrift stores. I would love to know which of these items in today's haul was your favorite. If you were at the th store thrifting with me, which of these items would we have had to fight over? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified of any of my upcoming videos. I share Thrift Store Thursday videos just like this every single Thursday. I also upload on Sundays and Wednesdays, and those are typically more decorating and project videos. So I hope you'll come back, hit that subscribe button. To all of my friends here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I cannot wait to read your comments and I will see you again next week for another Thrift Start Thursday. Until then, happy thrifting. Bye now.